Oh, hey, I'm Tegan Kobe, head of department for the special effects makeup for Divine the Series. Uh, prosthetic makeup for me is uh, anything that goes on an actor, I guess. And uh, so that's everything from blood rigs to prosthetic gelatin and foam pieces. Um, in the deeper sense, I think it's the transformation of an actor into a character. I was a really big fan of the Jesus cab driver with the crown of thorns bleeding out as well as the, the wrist pieces. I'm always a big fan of doing blood rigs because I'm kind of a sucker for the blood, so uh, those are my We did some Bondo forehead pieces that had blood rigs underneath it, and that was uh, a first for me to work with Bondo and blood rigs in such a thin material that it was um, tricky but really good in the end, I think, for us. Um, we did the full transformation on the Andre, our stunt for the Minotaur, and that involved, you know, everything from an under skull cap to a full, full head helmet piece, as well as a furry chest piece as well for that. He comes out looking, looking like he's got some traps and mm -hmm. some muscles going on. It'll be covered in hair eventually, and then it kind of slides on him, and then the helmet part slides onto him after that. And you can see we kind of have like the straps going to be coming in there. There'll be straps that go around the arms as well. And uh, the skull cap itself will be fit snug to him. So when he puts it on, it's just going to feel like a hound. And he's not going to feel this big thing, right? He's going to feel that tight little skull cap in there. Um, but yeah, it's going to, it'll be fun. It'll be interesting. Or is this sort of more of a rubber base? Than more of a put? rubber base. And then we go over top of it with a uh, with a plaster bandage. Like when you get your foot broken or something, your arm broken, that kind of material. Soak it in water and then it dries in to be really, really hard. The Venator was big. We, we brought in a... Um, a guy right out of school to give him a chance to show off his sculpting or his, and his sculpting. I really like some of his other stuff. And uh, so it started with a full out sculpt and then went into molding and, and skull cap fitting and getting Andre in for the head cast, which was a lot of fun. And. Uh, Everything from painting to punching in thousands of individual hair on the Minotaur mask, um, everything, the teeth for it was all um, made separately and put into the mask afterwards. So, you know, we had girls working on, on, the, on the chest piece as well. Put some glue on them then. 
throw it at him. Wherever it lands, it lands. Whatever falls off, falls off. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Blow dryer. Yep. You blow away the, the stuff that didn't hit here. And then you walk away. The snot was fine, that's, that was just like completely on set work. Uh, we just had a big, big old bucket of ultra slime, uh, thinned down a little bit, filled up in a syringe, and basically every chance we got was the jam pack a whole mouthful in there. This whole Divine experience has kind of changed my whole outlook on, on productions and, and building something with people. Um, this team, Ivan, was so encouraging and just like, he was so good to work for you. Like, more blood? When do you ever get to hear a director say more blood? Bon Jovi. Started in the trailer. It started in the trailer. We were just kind of like rocking out one day and everybody knew the song. So we, uh, we just kept it going and it seemed to really pump us up in more ways than we, we thought. Um, any chance we got the song was on and got us more pumped up to do the next scene, the next you know couple hours of set. And uh, okay. by the end of it, I feel like it was kind of just the theme song for, for the, the rest of the shoot for everybody. I mean, I think you guys got a couple good clips of us rocking out pretty hard to it. So look forward to seeing that. Um, I don't know what it was, it's a good song. Excuse me, it's for. It's for. <laughs>